on my channel. It's your girl Miss Tootie. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for coming back. And if you are a new subscriber, thank you for joining and welcome to the Gorgeous Game. So for today's tutorial, as you can see, it was kind of like a simple eye with a um, wing eyeliner with some rhinestones. So something kind of different. I got this look from somebody. I cannot find her Instagram to like for nothing. Like I searched through my likes and everything and I cannot find who this inspiration was from. Once I do find it, of course, I will tag them because I give credit where it's due. But um, I know I've been MIA. Um, I have uploaded a video for some reason. YouTube would not let me upload it on here. I don't know why. But I did post a video on my Facebook, so I'll be sure to leave my Facebook information down below so you can click that link and go check that out. Okay, so I feel like I've been talking too much. You already know if you are interested in seeing how your girl achieves this look, you already know what to do. Pick up a brush and keep on watching. Hey gorgeous gang, how you doing, how you feeling, how you living? I feel so good to be back. So to start off, uh, I'm going in with the uh, True Complexion Contour Palette by Black Radiance. And I believe this is the um, medium to dark. And I'm just taking that contour shade and put that in my crease area with a BH Cosmetics brush. Um, and prior to this, I did go ahead and prime my lids with the P. Louise Rumor Number no. 4 base. So as you can see, I'm just applying that in my crease area and then blending it out. Now I am going in by the matte book by the crayon case and taking that brown shade. And then I'm going to go back in the black radiance palette and take that lighter shade and just apply that above um, that dark brown that I, um, that I put down first. And this is... Um, I believe I got this brush from Walmart. It's from LAB2 or Lab2 or something like that, Cosmetics. And it's just a small blending brush. And as you can see, I always go back, you know, between brushes to make sure that everything has a good blend. Okay, now here I'm going back in with the P. Louise base. Again, this is the number four, and I'm just applying that on my lid. And I'm just going to go in, I believe this is a crease brush by Real Techniques. And I'm not doing a cut crease, I'm just patting that all over my lid. So when I get ready to apply my lid color, um, it'll be more opaque and more vibrant. As you can see here, I'm going back in the matte book by the crayon case and I'm just taking that white shade there. And this is just a um, a flat brush. I don't know where it's from, but it's just, just a flat fluffy brush and I'm using that to apply the white color on my lid. And once I have applied the white, I do go back in with those um, three colors that I use. So that first shade and then those last two shades to pretty much buff out the edges because I didn't want to take the white all the way over into the ending of my eyelid. Alrighty, so here I am going in with the crayon case, the white out eyeliner. And I'm going to just go ahead and create just a basic wing. So I was just trying to compare it to make sure that I started in the right area. To be honest, y'all, for some reason, the eyeliner was giving me a hard time. That's why I kind of ended it early. I had to um, put some eye drops in it to kind of like loosen it up because it's like a lot of product wasn't coming out. So in the end, it ended up working. But at first, it was giving me a hard time. Like you see, I had to keep dipping back in there. But overall it's a pretty good eyeliner i think it was just dried out a little bit but if you have this issue you can just put some eye drops or a mixing medium in the product and then just mix it up real good and it'll come back working good as new <laughs> okay, so 
to decorate the eyeline to decorate so for the gems or the rhinestones that i'm putting on my eye these i actually ordered these off of amazon and it was like eight dollars and it's like three thousand pieces so as you can see i'm just taking my duo lash adhesive in the clear and i'm just putting that on and then i'm just taking the rhinestones and pretty much um just put them over my eyeliner i didn't have a wax pen the wax pen that came with the set was poochy so i had to use like the little tweezers and it was giving me a hard time too and i didn't really want y'all to see me struggling so i did the rest off camera i just put inserted this clip so y'all can see how i achieved putting the um the rhinestones on here oh yeah i gotta quit saying um and uh i know y'all tired of it but i am so sorry I'm trying to stop that, but yeah, this is just to show how I put the rhinestones on. Alright, so here I am just taking this e.l.f. clear brow gel to put on my brows. Um, sometimes my brow hairs do get a little cray cray, so we got the little brow gel to lay it down a little bit, put them in a place. Now I'll be going in with my NYX mascara. I'm not too for sure of the name, but of course everything that I have used in this video will be linked in the description box below. And I'm just applying that on my eyes as a little base before my uh, falsies come on. And also I did get a little bit of eyeliner. On my lashes so i'm just trying to make sure that that's off before my um falsies go on and for our lashes today they are from the nadior collection and this is in the style coco these are the 25 mm lashes these lashes to me went perfect with this look because they were uh wispy so of course wispy is kind of like spread it out so it gives you that um dramatic look but it also gives it doesn't really take away from the eye because you can still see the the little rhyme stuff. All right, moving right along to the lower lashes, I'm just taking that little brown shade from the crayon case that I used on my eyes at the top, and I'm just taking the Morphe, I think it's the M405 or the 50, M506 brush, I think, and I'm just putting that on my lower lash line. Um, so basically, I don't want to. I didn't really want to put no eyeliner, so I just wanted to use a natural or neutral color on the lash line. And I'm just going to go back in with that same mascara from NYX and just put that on my lower lash line as well. But before that, as you can see, I went in with my Fenty Beauty Setting Powder. If I'm not mistaken, that I'm using chestnut. Yeah, I think it's chestnut. And I just put that down there so... Um, if the mascara was to leak down, it'll go on the powder and not, you know, just not mess up my under eyes. Moving right along to dust our setting powder off, I am using the Sephora micro smooth foundation powder to dust off the setting powder and basically to set the whole face and i'll be using this with a real techniques powder brush and y'all this is my new favorite brush to dust off powder and also that sephora powder is really really good i think i need to go back and get just a darker shade this this is my color but it may be just a tad bit light so yeah this is the hard candy baked bronzer and this is in the shade tropics and i'm taking a shop miss a f11 brush to apply that so it'll be on the highest points of my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow Now for the lips, I am going in with the Nika K Cosmetics Lip Liner. And it's just a regular brown one. I can't remember if it's dark brown or just brown, but any brown lip liner would do. I'm just putting that on and filling in my lips a little bit. 
And for my lip color, I am going in with the Crayon Case Lip Gloss. And this is the Queen Kisses. And of course, just applying that on the lips. And y'all know, once I do the lips and everything, y'all know I am close to ending the video. So once I have done the lips, I am going in with the e.l.f. Um, misting spray. This is a mattifying spray. I really like this spray a little bit. You just got to shake it because if you don't, like, it'll spray some white stuff out on your face. <laughs> so whatever the hell that is. But, yeah, as y'all can see, this is the completed look. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching Gorgeous Game. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. <laughs>